what if I told you you can go 22 months, almost two years, without paying an ounce of interest on a credit card? Now, you might be saying, Tommy, you must be crazy. You must be insane. The highest balance trends are around like 15 months, no interest. I get that. Well, no. I actually found one that gives you 22 months, almost two years, no interest whatsoever. So in this video, guys, we're actually going to be talking about the top six balance transfer credit cards. But Tommy, I don't want to get a credit card just to balance transfer over. I want a credit card with other perks. The answer is this, guys. I actually found credit cards that give you 5% cash back, okay? 3% cash back and a whole bunch of other perks. So again, these credit cards are not just like, hey, balance transfer and I'm done. No, that's to give you a lot more perks. So even after you're done with the balance transfer, you can still use this credit card on a regular daily basis or on a monthly basis, however you want to do it, because you can still earn perks on that. So if you want to find out what the top six balance transfer credit cards are and if they're good for you or not good for you, make sure you stick around to this video. On top of that, guys, if you guys don't know me, my name is Tony Bryson. I'm an accountant and I post videos on YouTube every single day. Yes, I said daily content. Have missed today for 170 days all right it's a long day okay on top of that guys make sure you subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so you get notified every time i upload a new video which again is every single day and i want to ask you a question are you currently carrying a balance and what's your apr the average apr is around like 35 to 25 percent so if you're carrying a balance imagine carrying that balance somewhere else and paying no interest for 22 months so then that way you pay off your balance you get charged no interest and that way you get to pocket all the money that you would have paid in interest isn't that cool so comment down below and let me know if you're currently carrying a balance or no now just to paint you a better picture right this was my first credit card and the first time i used it i spent around 1500 dollars on greek yogurt i bought around 10 pounds of yogurt i bought h&m I bought some Starbucks, I bought everything, and I put it on this credit card. Now, here's what happened. At the end of the month, I had to pay back all this stuff. Now, what happened is this, I didn't have the money, so what do I do now? Well, in reality, since I don't have any money, and I wanna not have to pay interest, well, I carry the balance from this credit card to this credit card, and now I have 15 months to pay back my mistake of buying 10 pounds of Greek yogurt that I wasted, and I can pay that back interest-free without having any issues for around 15 months. That's how that works. Comment down below if that example actually makes sense to you. And again, this is not a real example. I didn't buy 10 pounds of Greek yogurt, okay? I didn't do that. I don't buy Starbucks. I don't buy H&M, okay? I actually have a better place to buy my clothes for a cheaper price. So there's that. So again, just to clarify. Now, before I tell you the top six balance transfer credit cards out there, I want to clarify two things. And here it is, guys. Balance transfers do cost money, but in the end, you save money. For example, it might cost me 5% to carry this balance from this card to this card, but in reality, I'm going to save around 70% because the average APR is around like 25 to 35%, so I'm still saving around 65% in APR, which is still pretty good if you ask me. On top of that, guys, no, you can't earn points on transferring balances from one card to the next. If you're trying to play the system and get points and all this fancy stuff, you can't do it by doing that. Just to clarify, I just wanted to go over that stuff with you. Now, here are the top six balance transfer credit cards. And one of them, again, is 22 months. So stick around for that one because, again, that's one of my favorite ones. So here we go. Now, the first one is actually the Citibank Double Cash Credit Card. Now, the cool thing about this is that you actually get 2% cash back. How, Tommy? Well, if you buy something, when you buy it, you get 1%. When you pay back the credit card, you get another 1%. So in reality, you get 2% for buying your purchases. On top of that, you actually get 18 months free balance transfer, 0% APR, which is pretty cool if you ask me. But here's the catch, guys. Online, it says 18 months. If you get a letter in the mail, it's going to say 9 months. So if you see the letter in the mail, say 9 months, call in and say, hey, I saw online 18 months. I saw in the mail 9 months. I want 18 months. Make this happen. They'll probably say yes if they're already pre-qualified. Now you're probably asking me, Tommy. Okay, pretty cool card. Two percent cash back. 18 months on um, free APR and a balance transfer. But what are the odds of me actually getting inside the card? Well, the answer is this: If you are pre-qualified, you have a nine to ten chance that you get in. That's around a 90 percent chance, which is pretty good odds. Now, if you don't get pre-qualified, I recommend you have between a 700 plus and up credit score. But if you want to be risky. A 670-ish should be just enough, depending on how your credit score is actually built. Because I have seen some people with 670-ish scores actually get inside this card and get it no problem. So there's that. 70-ish if you want to be risky. 700 plus if you want to be more sure of actually getting in to the card. So just to clarify that. Again, I have all the links down below. So if you want to join, you can actually join. No problem there whatsoever. Again, just call in if you see the offer change at any moment. Now, number two is actually the Discover It for balance transfers. Now, what I really like about this card, guys, is that it actually gives you 5% cash back on certain categories when the quarters actually come around. So, for example, you can actually get 5% cash back on groceries, 
restaurants, gas, even buying stuff on Amazon, and even buying stuff with PayPal, which is pretty cool if you ask me. On top of that, you get 14 months to pay back 0% APR. But not just that, okay? They actually have something else, which is called cash back match. So for example, at the end of the year, if you got some cash back, they'll match it and double it for you. So for example, if you got back 100 cash back for the year when you actually signed up, well, they give you another 100, well, now that's $200 in cash back, which is pretty cool, which I really like. On top of that, if you're wondering, well, Tommy, how hard is it to actually get this credit card? The answer is this. I recommend having a score between 680 to around 720 to actually get accepted to this credit card. Again, it's kind of hard, but not really that hard. So you can still get in and you actually get a good credit card, a decent one that actually gives you, well, good cash back, 5% on certain stuff. On top of that, 14 months to pay back your balance, no interest. You really can't beat that, okay? Really like this one, one of my favorite ones by far. Now, number three is actually US Bank. Now, it's not really for cash back or like 5%, 2%, 3%, like it's none of that stuff, right? It's more like for the balance transfer that actually gives you a very, very long time to actually pay it off. So for example, if you go through the link I have down below, which is an affiliate link for Nerd Wallet. Again, I don't get paid for this, but I know that Nerd Wallet has a special deal with them. So instead of getting 18 months, you actually get 20 months, you actually paid off 0% APR, which is, again, is pretty pretty cool on top of that this credit card actually gives you a cool feature which is basically well check this out if you lose your phone you actually get around like six hundred dollars back if you bought it with your credit card but again it's more like for the balance transfer it's not really for cash back or like rewards or anything like that it's more of like just getting like 20 months actually pay back your stuff like you know interest free which is pretty cool on top of that you need a 680 to 719 to actually get qualified for this card and actually get accepted. So it's not really that hard to get into. You actually get 20 months to pay back, but it's actually a card you're gonna probably get, use it for the balance transfer, and you probably won't be using it again because there's no cash back, no real incentive just to keep using it over and over again. So there's that. Now the fourth balance transfer card is actually Amex Everyday Card. Now, a lot of people say like, hey Tommy, I don't like this credit card, it's not cool enough, I don't get enough bonuses. Well. I think it's a decent card, and if you use it more than 20 times every single month, you actually get 20% more on your points that you actually purchase on those purchases or whatever, right? Which is pretty cool if you ask me. On top of that, you actually get 15 months to pay back your balance transfer, 0% APR, and it's actually free. Balance transfer fee, free. So it's pretty cool if you ask me. On top of that, you actually get a sign-up bonus of around like 10,000 points, which is around like what, like a hundred dollars, which is pretty fair if you ask me. And I really like this card a little bit, but it's not really on the top, top end. Again, I like the city double cash, and I also like the um the, the discover one. But this one is pretty cool. You get some cash back here and there, which is pretty fair. And if you redeem it for travel, even better. Now you do need a credit score from around 690 and up. Okay, just to get inside of this credit card. If you have like an 850, you should be good also, which is pretty fair if you ask me. And you also get a card with like, you know, cool like features and stuff like that. Cash back, trial rewards, and all that fancy stuff. So it's pretty fair, but it's not the best. So there is that. But you do get a sign-up bonus of around $100. So there's that also. So I kind of like it, but I'm not there all the way. Comment down below if you like this one or if you don't like it. Now, number five is actually the City Simplicity Card. Well, Tommy, what about this card? What do you like about it? What don't you like about it? And the answer is this, guys. By far, one of my favorite credit cards. And here's why. This card actually gives you around 21 months to pay back your balance interest-free, which is insane, absolutely insane. Meaning that you almost get like around what? Like almost two years to pay back your balance transfer interest-free. So imagine you buy like an iPhone, right? This is, this is Galaxy, my iPhone's over there. But imagine you buy like an iPhone or a motorcycle and you want to do like a balance transfer. Well, you can do that. And now you have 21 months to pay back interest-free, which is pretty cool. On top of that, there are no fees with this credit card. No overdraft. Well, it's not overdraft, right? Well, well, no late fees and no fees whatsoever, which is pretty cool if you ask me. And by far, it's one of the best balance transfer cards because, again, you don't really get rewards for, like, cash back and all this fancy stuff. But you do get 21 months to pay back your balance interest-free, which, is, again... Is absolutely insane. Now you do need around a 690 and above to qualify for this card, which again, it's not really that bad. You can get this one, but and by the way guys, if you have a really low score and you wanna improve it and you just have like a balance and you're carrying a balance, I recommend this one by far, okay? Cause you got 21 months to pay it off interest free. And while you're actually paying back that balance, don't get into more credit card debt, just pay it off slowly. Just get out of it and don't go back into credit card debt. Don't recommend it. Now, number six is actually the Chase unlimited card now you might be asking me Tommy why are you including this card well because right now they actually have a promotion that they're actually giving you 3% cash back 
up to twenty thousand dollars now that's around six hundred dollars in cash back no problem now here's the thing guys that should give you 50 months to pay back your balance apr free same thing with purchases and i actually did one of these but when i did this thing they didn't really have six okay but when i did this they didn't really have three percent cash back so if you can get in get in what you still can and you do need a credit score of 700 and above which is like pretty high but not really so if you have that credit score i highly recommend this one because again 3% cash back, and you also get 50 months to pay back. Pretty fair. On top of that, it's a pretty good credit card, and you can use it all the time. So, highly recommend this one. And if you're wondering, well, Tommy, what's your favorite one? Well, you tell me in the comments down below which one's your favorite. I'll reply to you and tell you which one is my favorite. Comment down below. Let me know. And also let me know what do you like about the card specifically and which one you're thinking of and why. Comment down below. Let me know. Now, I just want to clarify one thing for the record. Again, I'm never biased in my videos. I don't have an incentive to actually like, put these videos out there. And I don't get paid by these credit cards. But I do want to say this, right? If you see any affiliate links down below, they're not mine, okay? Because some of these deals on these credit cards, well... You have to do it through Nerd Wallet because Nerd Wallet is like very powerful. So you can negotiate deals for you. And I don't get paid from Nerd Wallet either, but they actually negotiated deals for you and you actually get like a longer time to actually pay off your balances. So that's pretty cool. So if you see any like affiliate links, it's for those people. And then that way you get the best deal, but I don't get paid from it just to be completely honest and transparent. On top of that, I highly, highly recommend you only do balance transfers to pay off your balance interest free and don't do it to get into more debt and just like keep buying liabilities. Again, do balance transfers to pay off your balance interest free, but don't get into more debt because again, this is a big hole and you're never going to get out of it if you just balance transfer and hop, hop, hop. Again, if you do this right, you could theoretically get like around like six years without paying a single dollar on your balance. For example, if you have a motorcycle, cost $10,000, right? And you put it on this card, you pay for like 21 months, right? Then you put it on another card, you pay for like 15 months, right? Free APR. You keep doing that and doing that. Well, you get a really long time to pay little to nothing interest on your balance, which is pretty cool if you ask me. Now, guys, as always, thank you for watching the video. If you like the video, go ahead and like the video. It helps out the channel a ton. So if you like the video, make sure to click the button like because then that way the channel keeps growing and growing and growing. And I can keep doing more and more of these videos every single day. Maybe one day I'll do like two videos a day, which is insane, but... I'm thinking about it. On top of that, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. And if you want to talk to me one on one, uno a uno, just DM me on Instagram at Tommy Bryson. Again, I answer all my DMs 100%. Ask anyone, okay? And if you want to talk to all of us here, just join us on Discord. Only 100 spots are open. Once those 100 spots are filled, we're not going to open it again until 2020. So get it while you still can. I'll see you guys tomorrow. And thanks for watching and peace. <laughs> You've got to start at the bottom If you ever gonna reach the top You've gotta watch all the seeds you sow Don't 